What type of chair should we use within an EPA? I'm wearing a wristband and cord. I'm wearing an ESD coat, fully buttoned. Is it safe to assume that I can use a standard office chair within this environment? What I'm going to do here is simply sit down and stand up and we'll measure the residual charge on the back of the chair using an electrostatic field meter. This chair is now generating many thousands of volts simply because the construction of the material is of man-made fibers and the chair itself is not designed to drain the charge to ground. It will hold the charge as a field and will take a very long time to dissipate. You can see there's very little change on the meter whilst I'm talking. The big risk here is one of induced charge. As I turn the chair and push it underneath the EPA as I leave, the charge induction from the chair will now flood the EPA. Now if my products aren't protected on the EPA, they stand a significant risk of charge damage from the induced charge from the chair placed underneath the bench. Here we have an EPA compatible chair identified by ESD flashes on the conductive casters and often by additional badging to show indeed that it's been tested as being compatible with an EPA. Once again I'll sit down and stand up and we'll measure the residual charge on the back of this chair. Here you can see the charge is minimal and well within the standard as to an acceptable level of charge within an EPA. Apart from chairs in an EPA, you'll also find EPA compatible trolleys and associated equipment all clearly marked with either the yellow lightning flash, yellow dots or yellow hubcaps.